Imagine traveling across the country to get life changing treatment only to have another life altering event occur. It is the harsh reality for an Arizona family now living in Louisville. They're a part of UofL's spinal cord research program, but the mother and daughter were recently hit by a car while crossing the street. Both were seriously hurt and now they're in serious need of help. WHAS 11 Sarah Wagner joins us now with their story. Just heartbreaking, Sarah. Yeah, Lisa, it really is. Michelle Spencer and her daughter Marissa have been through more than many of us can even fathom. Marissa broke her neck in a car accident three years ago, leaving her paralyzed from the chest down. They came to Louisville a year ago to do a standing study at Fraser Rehab Center and then got selected for the groundbreaking U of L research project. Michelle says Marissa was making incredible progress until two weeks ago when their world was rocked yet again. It's a crosswalk Michelle Spencer and her daughter Marissa know well. They use it often to go to different doctor's appointments, something Marissa spends a lot of time doing. She's been doing really well. She's made a lot of progress. Um, they have had her standing and doing a lot more things than she's not been able to do. Success, that all stopped on October 3rd. We were crossing the crosswalk at the hospital and a car didn't stop and hit us. A distracted driver missed the flashing lights and warning signs. Marissa broke her femur. After the surgery, she developed a blood clot in her lung, and that's what's giving us a lot of trouble right now. Marissa's new wheelchair was also destroyed. Her wheelchair is her life. Um, she does everything in it. Michelle hurt her head and ribs, forcing the family to look for other options. It's been hard because I can't really take care of her right now, so when she does come home, we're going to have to get home health and different people to come in and help me. Overcoming obstacles is nothing new for Marissa, but this setback stings. She um, was pronounced dead actually at her original accident, so she's been through a lot of surgeries and now it's a little disheartening because she came so far and she's like been moved back a few paces, so, but she won't give up. She's about as brave as they come, which gives her family the faith to carry on. She gives us the strength to keep going. She's 27 and um, she has a lot of things she still wants to do. Michelle and Marissa will likely be in Louisville another year for this project. Michelle says the Fraser community is absolutely amazing and such a great support system through all of this. Now there is a GoFundMe set up to help the family. We've got a link in our story for that on WHS11.com right now. Sarah Wagner, WHAS 11 News. Oh.